है डियर फ्रेंड्स आप लोग अपने घरों पे सुरक्षित होंगे ऐसा मैं उम्मीद रखता हूँ अपने घरों में रहिए खुद सुरक्षित रहिए और दूसरों को भी सुरक्षित रखिए दोस्तों अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू यू ऑल इन माय न्यू सेशन आई एम सुरेश विश्वकर्मा presenting the new session of the class 9th chapter hirens formula so students as we have all the completed all the exercise of this chapter and the theoretical part so today i came here to bring few important questions which is necessary for you so today we are going to discuss those questions which are related to the your reference books and your practice set which i'll provide you in my upcoming session so dear friends see this question the length of a rectangular plot of a land is twice its breadth if the perimeter of the plot be 180 meter find its area so this question as it is given there is a rectangular plot see this is our rectangular plot in this rectangular plot suppose it is a b c d so in this rectangular plot few information is given that its length is twice to its breadth so let us suppose that its breadth be x meter so the measure of this length will be twice of x which is 2x so in the solution of this question let the breadth of the plot be okay the breadth of the plot be x meter then according to the question length of the plot will be 2x meter why because this information is given length of the plot of the land is twice its breadth okay so if the breadth be x and length be 2x then if the perimeter of this plot is given 180 meter then it is asking find its area so as perimeter is given since perimeter of the plot of plot is equals to 100 80 meter and this plot is in the shape of rectangle so we know that the formula to find out the perimeter of the plot is equals to 2 multiplied by its length plus breadth so 2 into length plus breadth is equals to 180 now substitute the value of length from this and breadth from here as breadth is x so length is twice of x so 2 multiplied by length is 2x plus breadth is x which is equals to 180 meter now solve it 
2 multiplied by 3x is equals to 180. So, 6x is equals to 180. Therefore, x is equals to 180 upon 6. 6 3 is a 80. It means the value of x is 30 meter. As x you got 30 meter, therefore, this is the breadth of this rectangular plot. This rectangular plot is of 30 meter. So, what will be its breadth, its length? Length will be twice of x means twice of 30 which is equals to 60 meter. So, as x is 30, therefore, it is presenting the breadth of this plot. So, its length will, will be length is of 2x that is 60 meter according to the question. Now it is asking what is the area of this rectangular plot? This is rectangle as you know and the area of rectangle is length multiplied by breadth. So, area of the plot is equals to equals to length multiplied by breadth. Length is 60 meter and breadth is 30 meter. So, 6 3 is 18, 1800 meter square is the required answer which is the area of this rectangular plot. Therefore, area of this rectangular plot becomes 1800 meter square. Right children? Okay friends, see the next question. In this question, as uh, we have discussed the first one, so this type of question you have to take the practice of the, uh, solving those questions, that types of those questions, so that it will be, that concept will be clear. So this second sum of this exercise, this chapter, here is formula. In this it is given, the length of the sides of sides containing the right angle, there is a right angle triangle. So in this, if the right angle triangle is there, it is a right angle triangle, this point is 90 degree. So the question is given, the length of sides containing the right angle in a right triangle means these are AB and BC, these are the two sides that containing right angle means with the help of these two sides we are getting 90 degree. So this is said to be these two sides containing right angle in a right angle triangle and these two sides differ by 7 centimeter. Differ by 7 centimeter, let BC be x unit, if this BC is x centimeter, so what will be measure of this AB that is x plus 7 centimeter, is it? Then the difference of these two sides becomes 7 centimeter, differ by 7 centimeter. If the area of the triangle is 60 centimeter square, find the length of its hypotenuse means we are going to find the measure of AC. This measure of AC we are going to find out. Okay. As this is right angle triangle, so this BC is its base and AB is its the height. So it is height, it is base and its area is given. So, in the solution of this, let the side BC side BC be x centimeter in a right triangle in a right triangle ABC in which measure angle B equals to 90 degree. Okay. So, if BC be 
x centimeter so according to the question the difference of these two sides these two sides means the side contains 90 degree so these two a b and b c containing 90 degree therefore according to the question a b becomes x plus 7 centimeter okay now as base is b c height is a b so its area we can get it so you know that area of a right angle triangle since area of a right angle triangle equals to half into base into height okay so therefore half base is bc height is ab is equals to area is given 60 centimeter square by the question we have written right so let us substitute the values half bc is x and ab is x plus 7 is equals to 60 okay there are three terms and they these three are multiplied half is multiplied by x multiplied by x plus 7 so if this two you are taking to you are transposing to the right side so this is this two is divided over here so this will be multiplied to the right side so your be, equation becomes x multiplied by x plus 7 equals to 60 into 2 so multiply it you will get x square plus 7x is equals to 120 that is 62 is a 120 now we got an a quadratic equation x square plus 7x minus 120 equals to 0 this is a quadratic equation and the factorization of this quadratic equation you, we have learned in the chapter polynomial okay so with the help of that method what was the method method was splitting middle term by the method of splitting middle term we have to factorize to get the value of x from this equation abhi hum is equation ko is quadratic equation ko factorize karenge aur wo bhi kis method se splitting middle term and what is the middle term in this middle term is 7x right so 7x we are going to split and this value is 7x depends on the value of 120 so how to factorize how to did that bring 7 this is based on this 120 so find all the prime factor of this 120 so it can be written as 2 into 60 or 3 into 40 right or 4 into 30 or 5 into 5 to the 10 5 for the 20 or 6 into 20 6 into 20 or 8 for the 8 if you are taking 8 multiplied by 8 1 the 8 8 5 the 40 means now we got this much factors of this is 2 3 4 5 6 8 15 20 24 30 40 and 60 and 120 itself so among these factors we have to check of which pair means some our difference of which pair becomes this middle pair, middle term like 2 and 60 when you are adding these two numbers you will add it you will get 62 you will subtract you will find the difference of this you will get 58 60 minus 2 is 58 similarly if you are taking this number 8 and 15 so 8 plus 15 is 23 but 15 minus 8 difference of these two numbers is 7 so our required number is 15 and 8 so this equation can be written as x square 
प्लस फिफ्टीन एक्स माइनस एट एक्स माइनस वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी इक्वल्स टू जीरो राइट लेट एस टेक द कॉमन इन दिस एक्स एक्स प्लस फिफ्टीन माइनस एट एक्स प्लस फिफ्टीन इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो इट्स फैक्टर्स आर एक्स प्लस फिफ्टीन एंड एक्स माइनस एट इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो देर आर टू वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स आर एट एंड माइनस फिफ्टीन सो हियर द फिफ्टीन इज नेगेटिव वैल्यू हियर द फिफ्टीन इज नेगेटिव वैल्यू विच इज नॉट कंसिडरेबल वाई बिकॉज लेंथ ऑफ एनी ऑफ द लाइन कैन नॉट बी नेगेटिव दैट्स वाई वी आर नॉट टेकिंग एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस फिफ्टीन सो वॉट वी हैव टू एज्यूम एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू एट विच इज प्लस एट सेंटीमीटर इफ एक्स इज एट सेंटीमीटर मीन्स दिस इज द लेंथ ऑफ बी सी इज एट सेंटीमीटर ओके रीजन वी हैव गिवन दैट वाई वी आर नॉट टेकिंग माइनस फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर because the length of any of the sides of a triangle is not in negative okay as bc is 8 so what will be measure of ab so ab will be ab will be x plus 7 it means 8 plus 7 that is 15 cm right now the question was asking in this find the length of its hypotenuse so how to get the length of this hypotenuse dear students you all know that what is pythagoras theorem by the pythagoras theorem what is the relation of the pythagoras theorem with this right triangle he told that in a right triangle dear students keep it in mind always pythagoras theorem is only and only based on right angle triangle what he told he told that in a right angle triangle square of hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the square of the other two sides so by the pythagoras theorem square of hypotenuse means ac square equals to the sum of the square of other two sides means ab square plus bc square let us substitute the measure of ab ab is 15 square of 15 plus bc is 8 square of it which is 225 plus 8 is 60 88 just 64 when you add it 9 8 2 is the value of ac square so what we got ac square is equals to 289 therefore measure of ac is equals to square root of 289 that is equals to 17 cm so which is our required answer the measure of this hypotenuse is 17 cm right now let us see the third sum in this it is given that the hypotenuse of an isosceles right triangle this triangle is right and isosceles also in isosceles right triangle the measure of hypotenuse is given root 32 meter then what is its area so first of all we have to draw our figure this is right triangle and it is isosceles isosceles means its two sides are equal right angle means its one angle is 90 degree okay so let in the solution of this we have taken let triangle abc is an abc is an isosceles triangle
such that AB is equals to BC equals to X measure angle B is equals to 90 degree and AC is given under root 32 centimeter right so as AB equals to BC they both are equal that's why they are isosceles and the measure of AC is given under root 32 so let us find first of all the measure of its equal sides after getting the measure of its equal sides then we can find the area of this triangle so to find the measure of these two sides we have to apply the Pythagoras theorem in this right triangle so by Pythagoras theorem square of its hypotenuse means AC square equals to sum of the squares of the other two sides AB square plus BC square AC is under root 3 whole square AB is X BC is also X square so we got 2 of X square is equals to 3 root 32 it is sorry it is 32 so we got 2 of x square is equals to 2 of x square is equals to 32 so x square is equals to 32 upon 2 which is 16 therefore x is equals to under root 16 that is 4 meter so if the measure of AB is came 4 meter and BC is also came 4 meter so we can find area of this triangle easily therefore area of triangle ABC we have to use the simple formula general formula half into base into height half into base into height of this triangle and base and height are base is BC and height is AB therefore half into base is 4 meter height is also 4 meter so 4 4 just 16 half of 16 meter square which is 8 meter square is the area of our isosceles right triangle that is given here okay now let's see the question number four in this the question is given the area of a triangle is 150 centimeter square that given triangle its area is given 150 centimeter square and its sides are in the ratio is 3 is to 4 is to 5 then what is its perimeter we need to find the perimeter as we do not know what are its sides the ratio of the sides are given 3 is to 4 is to 5 so to find its perimeter we need we require the measure of its length of the sides after getting the measure of the sides then we can find its perimeter easily so to find the measure of its sides as the sides are in the ratios are given so since sides of the triangle of the triangle are are 3 is to 4 is to 5 so based on this ratio let the sides of the triangle
be 3x, 4x and 5x means therefore a is equals to 3x, b is equals to 4x and third side c is equals to 5x. Okay. One more information is given in this triangle that its area is 150 centimeter square. So let us find its area on this this side, these measures of the sides by the Heron's formula. As you know that from the Heron's formula, the area of the triangle is equals to under root s s minus a s minus b and s minus c. So we need to find the find uh, we need the value of s means semi perimeter s minus a s minus b and s minus c also. Okay. So find first of all the value of s which is semi perimeter that is equals to a plus b plus c upon two, which is three x plus four x plus five x upon two and this is equals to 3 4 7 plus 5 is 12 x upon 2 that is equals to 6 x is the value of s now s minus a that is 6 x minus a is 3 x that is equals to 3 x s minus b 6 x minus b is 4 x which is equals to 2x then third value s minus c that is 6x minus c is 5x which is x after getting these values we have to find the area of this triangle by Heron's formula so by Heron's formula area of triangle equals to under root s s minus a s minus b s minus c this area is already given 150 centimeter square so at the place of area we are writing 150 under root the value of s is 6x s minus a is 3x s minus b is 2x s minus c is x now let us simplify let us solve these values so squaring both side we get 150 into 150 equals to 6x into 3x into 2x into x 6x 3x 2x into x and this is square root will be removed after squaring this is okay so now this 150 into 150 equals to 6 multiplied by 3 into 2 into x raised 4 so x raised 4 equals to 150 into 150 divided by 6 into 3 into 2 3 2s are at by 3 we have to simplify 3 5s are 50 3 5s are 15 5 0 50 now by 3 again 3 2 is 6 3 5 is 15 now by 2 it is 25 by 2 this is also 25 so x raise 4 you got 25 into 25 so therefore it can be written as x raise 4 is equals to 5 raise 4 so the value of x is 5 
why this 5 raised 4 becomes because 25 is 5 square this 25 is 5 square which is equals to the 5 raised 4 now the value of x is 5x then we can find the perimeter of this triangle easily as you know that perimeter of triangle is sum of all the sides so perimeter of triangle is equals to perimeter is equals to a plus b plus c that is measure of all the side 3x plus 4x plus 5x 3x 4x plus 5x it means total 12x and the value of x is 5 12 5 are 60 centimeter is our answer that is the perimeter of this our required triangle okay children once again listen once again just see the explanation of this question as the area of the triangle was given 150 centimeter square its sides are in the ratios of 3 is to 4 is to 5 okay abhi iske sides ke ratios kis pe diye 3 is to 3 ratios 4 ratios 5 then find its perimeter okay as sides are in the ratios this is given to humne kya kiya iske sides measures of sides ko already we have taken based on these ratios so what we have taken let the measure of the sides of the triangle be 3x measure of first side is 3x second side is 4x and third side is 5x dekho ye 3x 4x and 5x is based on these ratios okay now let us suppose that a is equals to 3x b is equals to 4x and c is equals to 5x after getting the value of a b and c we have to find the semi perimeter a plus b plus c is upon 2 that is equals to 3x for uske baad, as in the herence formula these are required s minus a s minus b and s minus c to iski bhi value humne find kar liya 6x minus 3x is 3x which is value of s minus a s minus b is 2x s minus c is x now by herence formula area of the triangle is equals to this so squaring both side we got the value of x is 5 after getting the value of 5 the perimeter v perimeter means sum of all the sides it means 12x 12 multiplied by the value of x is 5 12 5 the 60 centimeter is the perimeter of this given triangle